All right, so I've got a shirt on today that says, I have found the cure. Okay. What do you think I'm proposing that I found the cure to? You found a cure. I would say finding a cure to, to help others. Okay. Look a little bit more deeper into what your search in life. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So specifically, that's great. That's a wonderful answer. Uh, the, the specificity, I guess, of it would be that I, I found the cure to sin and death. So what do you think happens to us whenever we die? What happens to us? Oh, well, my personal perspective, you go to you go to heaven and uh, things become new. Okay. Every, all, all your old sins are washed away and you become new and God accepts you for who you are. Okay. So who goes to heaven? Does everybody when they die get to go to heaven? If you... I would say not everybody. Sure. Um, just if you've forgiven and repented for your sins, okay. I, I would say you accept yeah. Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes, yeah. you will be accepted. How would you fare on the day of judgment? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's getting, on the getting day beat of now. Judgment, right. um, heaven or hell for you? Uh, heaven, definitely. Okay. Heaven, heaven right. definitely. Okay. But, um, Everybody has their their moments sure. and their yeah. their judgments and their 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 sins that yeah. they're dealing with, and okay. hopefully everyone will be able to go. Okay, yeah. well, I want I want to I want to put you to the test here real quick, like, <laughs> and and hopefully if if there is any holes in your belief system, just maybe fill those in with the Bible and, and help us at the end of the at the end of the day and not hurt us. Okay. Okay. All right. So are you familiar with the Ten Commandments? Some. Some yeah. of them. Well, I'm not going to get you to recite them. Don't worry. I, I don't know if I can do it on, on the spot, all, all 10 of them. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions from them. Be a little bit personal, but I promise I got a good benefit uh, okay. at the end. How many lines, Miss Ken, Ken, Kenya, do you think that you've told in your lifetime? Oh, some. So. Okay. Yeah. So what do you call a person who tells lies? Uh, uh, not truthful, not a believer. Like, yeah. you know, you don't believe. In... Maybe call them a liar. Yeah. Right? It sounds yeah. harsh, doesn't it? And I'm in the same boat. Don't you think I'm judging you? Uh, but so, so you admit to me that you're a, a liar at points <laughs> in time, right? Okay. That's, that sounds, we don't like to think of it. You know, yeah, the, Bible, yeah. and the Bible tells us that, that we love to proclaim our own goodness. I love, I want everybody to think I'm better than I really am. Yeah. But a lot of times, of course, I don't measure up. Uh, second question, okay. Uh, have you ever taken anything, irregardless of its value, that doesn't belong to you? I'm gonna say probably. Probably, okay. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> like so, extra work supplies. Yeah, that's or yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So, what do you call a person that takes things that don't belong to him? A stealer. A thief. Steal, steal, right? A stealer's a football stealer. team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we but we would a call thief. ourselves a thief. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So, so you're a lying thief. Yeah. Just one more. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for being patient yeah. with yeah. me. Okay. I'm being honest. Have you? <laughs> yes. Yes. Very good. Have you? Have you ever taken God's name? and used it in vain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. so very, very serious sin in the Old yeah. Testament. It was punishable by death. It's called blasphemy. Yeah. Um, would yeah. you ever take your mother's name and use it in the place of a curse word? No. No. Why? It's wrong. Because you love her. You respect <laughs> yeah. her. Yeah. And yet you and I, at points in time, have disrespected the God of creation, the God who gave us our mothers and gave us our own life. And it just shows a, a complete, really just shows how bad we really can be at points in times, okay? Again, Miss Kenya, thank you for your patience. Yeah. So you've admitted you're a lying, thieving <laughs> blasphemer. You make me sound bad. <laughs> yeah. And you have to face God on judgment day. Amen. Yes. So would you be guilty or innocent? I'd be guilty. I'd be guilty. Heaven or hell? Yeah, right? Yeah. Now I get the choice. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of puts it in perspective, yes. doesn't it? Because, yes. I, again, I, I think we all love to proclaim our own goodness, and we all love to think everything's just going to, we're going to, you know, the sweet by and by kind of mentality. But, but we're just talking straight Bible here. Yes. The Bible yes. says the wages of sin is death. And it's not just physical death, but it's spiritual death. When, when, when God put Adam and Eve in the garden, he said, don't eat from that fruit of that tree. And the day you eat from it, you're going to die. Well, Adam and Eve ate from it, but they didn't die physically. Now, they did eventually die physically. But the death that took place that day was a spiritual death. It was, they were now separated from their God. And eventually, we're like a fish out of water. We continue to breathe for a little while, but we're going to die eventually. And, and the realization of our spiritual death is going to be made very plain on the day of judgment. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, so you're guilty. Would, would you say right now, if you were to die, would you go to heaven or hell? What confidence do you have? I would go to heaven. Why? As, as a guilty... <laughs> As guilty, as sinful, God forgives us of all of our sins. 
He watches Clan Like Snow. Yeah. And as long as we recognize and try to improve on who we are, because we are all born into this world as sinners. Yeah. So I, if I proclaim my judgment and my, my sins and give my testimony, I still cleanse okay. and I still will go to heaven. So I believe in forgiveness, absolutely, <laughs> yes. and, and praise God for that. I guess the means by which a person is forgiven. So I'm going to just spend just the last couple of minutes that we have together and just and just talk about that because I'm concerned. Yeah. I don't know you, Miss Kenya, but yeah. I, I do hope you'll examine my motive. I love you. Yeah. I love everybody that's out here and, and want to make sure that our responsibility is to preach the gospel. Okay. Yeah. So so I'm guilty and yeah. I know I can never be a good enough person to ever get to heaven. Yeah. And twenty two years ago, right now in my life, I had that realization on a Sunday morning. Preacher was preaching along these same lines. And it's like the light just went off and I and I saw instead of just seeing God as some good forgiving person of humanity. I saw him as my judge and as a lawgiver. I saw him as the one that I'm going to stand before one day and give an account of my life. And it made me shiver, honestly. I, I, I thought if something doesn't happen, I'm going to die and go to hell today. That's yeah. what I thought 22 years ago. Yeah. And then the preacher got into the good part of the message, which is the part of the message I'm at right now. Okay. What has God done for guilty sinners so that we don't have to die and go to hell? Uh, he gives them a second chance. He gives, he gives you a chance. He gives you a chance to forgive. He gives you a chance to repent. Yeah. He, he gives you a chance to... Um, start new. Okay. I guess th th there would be, I guess, our, our first little disagreement. And, yeah. and I just want to explain to you why. And thank you for being so honest with me, though. Um, the, the word chance and to make kind of the idea of making amends. I don't believe in God's economy that we could ever, that, that any amount of good that we could ever do could ever make up for the wrong that we've done. I'll give you an illustration of that, okay? If I was to get out here today and commit two horrible crimes, let's say rape and murder, horrible crimes, right? Mm -hmm. The law is to apprehend me, throw me in jail. My court date comes around. I, I stand before the judge. The judge says, Stanley, you're guilty. What do you have to say for yourself for our past sentence? And I say, well, well, judge, listen, that was a long time ago. I'm, I'm doing a whole lot better in my life, and I promise I'll never do those things again if you'll let me go free. Do you think the judge will let me go free? Not the judge. Not the judge. <laughs> the but, judge but, will but, probably look at evidence so, and, right. so he's a and good judge, judge you according to yeah. what he's seeing. So you would agree with me that a good judge can't let lawbreakers go free? Well, because he's looking at evidence. He's sure. not looking at a spiritual standpoint or a more um, a forgiving heart. Uh, he did a crime and he has to pay. And yeah. he's, you know, going to have to deal with his repercussions from yeah. what he's done. Yeah. So, yeah, as a judge, I don't think he would let him go. Right. But God is our judge and he will decide what our sins are and what's too... Right. Um, I couldn't agree sinful, with you more. Yeah, I, could, sinful, I couldn't agree with you more. Is, is the worst yeah. that he will judge and make that determination, not us or the people or right. anyone here. I think the judge of the universe, God, yeah. is going to bring up all the evidence against us. Yeah. And in the book of 1 Corinthians, he says, no liar will inherit the kingdom of God, no blasphemer, you know, no, no, no uh, covetous person, no thief will inherit the kingdom of God. And so all of those things kind of stack up against us and show us really what we what we do deserve and that we can never make an atonement for our sin. So that's why, that's what God has done, I guess, for for guilty sinners so that you and I don't have to go to hell 2,000 years ago. And you, you already know this. I'm sure you probably sing about it in church that 2,000 years ago, God sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to suffer and die for us on the cross, right? We, we know that story. A lot of folks know that, but they don't know the implication of it, okay? So if, I, if I've got it here today and I sped, again, the law gives me a ticket, I stand before the judge, you know, the whole, whole thing again. And let's say the... the the fine's been laid on me. And the judge says, you got to pay this fine. I said, well, I can't pay it. All right. And the only other thing he has to do is then throw me in jail. If I can't pay the fine, I've got to go to jail. Well, I can't pay it. I don't want to go to jail. But if someone steps in and pays the fine for me, then the law can be satisfied and I can go free. And 2,000 years ago, that's what Jesus Christ did for us. He stepped in and paid the fine for us that we couldn't pay for ourselves, and now allows us to, to go free. And, and I don't have to do anything to earn it, nor could I ever do anything good enough to earn it. And the way that that gift that God's provided in his son for us is kind of laid onto our account is through two Bible terms, repentance and faith. Repentance is turning away from sin. Faith is em embracing the Lord Jesus Christ. It's more than a mental ascent. Um, if I was to jump out of an airplane, I'm a big guy. <laughs> if I was to jump out of an airplane at 10,000 feet, if I didn't have something to save me, I'd go splat very fast and very, very gruesome uh, mm -hmm. scene. However, if I was to put on a parachute, I could trust my life to the parachute. I would, I would have faith in the parachute to save my life. Flapping my arms was not going to help mm -hmm. or any of those kinds of things. Uh, the Bible tells us in similar language, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
uh, Miss, Miss Kenya, don't trust in your own good works, don't trust in your church membership, your tithing record, how good of a person you can be. You ought to be a good person, not in order to be saved, but because you've placed your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and now go forward and live in good works. Does that make sense? Yeah. You going to think about what we talked about today? Yes, sir. Awesome, Miss Kenya. Thank you so <laughs> much.